Financial management is a process that involves managing money from sources of income into saving, expenses, protection, and investment. The financial management process consists of setting goals, evaluating financial status, writing financial plan, carrying out financial plan, and reviewing and advising the progress. How do we set the financial goals? The financial goals set must be prioritized and specific. They must be smart. The S means specific. M measurable. A attainable or achievable. R realistic or relevant. T time bound. There are two types of financial goals. The first is short term financial goals. The short term financial goals can be achieved in less than a year. Do not involve a large amount of money. The example of short term financial goals are purchasing a laptop, furniture, a cell phone, and others. The second type of financial goals is long term financial goals. The long term financial goals take more than five years to achieve. They involve a large amount of money. For example, an individual needs to have savings for retirement, children's education, medical expenses, and others. The duration needed to achieve a financial goals depends on the percentage of the money savings from the person's income. We should prioritize to meet our needs rather than wants. For example, the basic needs, such as food, accommodations, and clothing, should be given priority. Having the desire to live a luxurious life is a want. Spending money on our wants will lead us to spend more than we earn. For example, one, Inject Yusuf will be celebrating Family Day in protection in six months. This celebration will cost him 1,500 ringgit. Inject Yusuf needs to save 250 ringgit a month from his income of 2,500 ringgit in order to achieve his financial goal. Is Inject Yusuf's financial goal a smart approach? The goal is specific. Inject Yusuf's goal is to celebrate Family Day in protection. In this case, Inject Yusuf's goal is specific because he aims to go on vacation at a specific location. The goal is measurable. Inject Yusuf's specific goal can be calculated as he knows the amount of money needed to celebrate family day. In this case, Inject Yusuf's goal can be measured because he knows how much money is needed to celebrate family day. The goal is attainable. Inject Yusuf's financial goal is attainable because it can be achieved by saving 250 ringgit a month from his monthly income of 2,500 ringgit. The goal is realistic. Inject Yusuf's financial goals of celebrating family day in protection in 6 months is realistic. He will save 250 ringgit a month to achieve the goal. The goal is time bound. Inject Yusuf's financial goal is time bound because he has a time limit of 6 months. Therefore, Inject Yusuf applied the SMART concept in his goal setting. Besides setting the financial goals, we need to evaluate the financial status. Assets and liabilities are the benchmarks for evaluating our financial status. Assets in Mandarin is 资产 and liabilities in Mandarin is 负债 and benchmarks means a standard or points of reference against which things may be compared or assessed. Example of assets Cash Savings Real estate investments Fixed deposits Unit trust or Carbony shares Liabilities or Bank loans Credit card debts And Other financial obligations Besides that, we should know the outstanding payments such as Unsettled rent, utility bills, credit card bills, and others. After evaluating financial status, we can start creating financial plan. 
life management based on financial planning help us monitor our cash flow. There are two important components in constructing a financial plan, namely the sources of income and expenses. Income consists of active income and passive income, which are cash inflows. Active income is the main income such as salaries, allowance, commissions, and other financial resources. Passive income consists of rent received, interest received, dividends, and other investments. Expenses consist of fixed expenses and variable expenses, which are cash outflows. Incomes are cash inflows. Expenses are cash outflows. Fixed expenses are expenses that must be paid or spent, such as rent, insurance payments, housing loan installments, car installments, and credit card payments. Variable expenses will change every month according to our spending behavior. For example, petrol expenses, groceries, electricity bill payments, and water bill payments. A positive cash flow will exist if the total income exceeds the total expenses. A negative cash flow will exist if the total income is less than the total expenses. Let's do some quiz. Number 1. What are the two important components in constructing a financial plan? The sources of income and expenses. Question number 2. Income consists of Active income and passive income. Question number three. Both active income and passive income are cash inflows. Question number four. What are the examples of active income? Some of the examples are salaries, allowance, and commissions. Question number five. What are the examples of passive incomes? Some of the examples are the rent received interest received or dividends. Question number six. Expenses consist of fixed expenses and variable expenses. Question number seven. Both fixed expenses and variable expenses are cash outflows. Question number eight. What are the examples of fixed expenses? The examples are rent, insurance payments, housing loan installments, car installments, and credit card payments. Questions number 9. What are the examples of viable expenses? The examples are petrol expenses, groceries, electricity bill payments, and water bill payments. Question number 10. When will a positive cash flow exist? The total income exceeds the total expenses. Question 11. When will a negative cash flow exist? The total income is less than the total expenses. The last question. Life management based on financial planning help us monitor our cash flow.